Hey guys, Jackie M from Masters of Malaysian Cuisine. My apologies for running a couple of minutes late. That was my fault. And uh, welcome everyone. This is a very, very special broadcast because it's the first time we've got world-renowned Nyonya cuisine specialist. And she's a Nyonya, uh, Nyonya specialist, not just of Penang Nyonya food or Malacca Nyonya food, but of both varieties of Nyonya cuisine. And Debbie Teo was invited to join our core Masters of Malaysian Cuisine group a few weeks earlier, but this is the very first time she's actually done a cooking demo for our audience. So make sure you welcome her warmly. Uh, Debbie, lovely to have you at last. Thank you, Jackie, for having me on board. No, we're very, very excited to have you. Uh, guys, make sure you say hello and let us know where you're watching from. We are continuing. As For those of you who celebrate Chinese New Year, you would know that Chinese New Year actually runs for 15 days, which is why yeah. our Kongsi Kongsi series <laughs> continues. And I'm just going to quickly play a uh, clip from Tourism Malaysia, and we'll come back and talk to Debbie a little bit more in 30 seconds. We'll see you back here in a sec. Hey, Truly Asia. Hey guys, welcome back again. It's Jackie M from Masters of Malaysian Cuisine, and we are so incredibly excited to have Debbie Teo, who is based in Kuala Lumpur nowadays. But like I said, uh, Debbie is a specialist in both Penang and Malacca Nyonya cuisine. So great to have you, Debbie. How how you been? I'm fine, thank you, Jackie. Yeah, okay. So tell us what you're making today, because I, I was asking Debbie earlier behind the scenes a couple of things about the food that she's making, and she's got very intriguing uh, a backdrop to it, right? So yeah, can you yes. tell us a little bit about what you're making and why it's considered a Chinese New Year dish? Okay, um, uh, what I'm making today is uh, called a stir-fried uh, vegetarian bihun, uh, okay. served with a Taochiu sauce. All right. Why it's uh, I would say it's auspicious because it's served on the first day of Chinese New Year in my home for the last fifty over years. Uh, wow. because we are born Buddhist. Uh, first day and the fifteenth day of every month we observe uh being vegetarians, and uh for Buddhists who are not whole life I would say uh who are not full time vegetarians. When, when they are observing vegetarian on the first and 15th uh, day of the Chinese lunar calendar, they do not take any shallots or garlic in their vegetarian cuisine. Okay. All right. So apart from Taochiu, what else is going in this dish? Okay, this dish, um, we have the vegetarian oyster sauce, uh, duck soy sauce, black soy sauce, uh, ginger, lots of ginger because there's no garlic, so you have to have some aromatics in your fried bihun. So ginger right. plays a very important role, yeah. And okay. um, I'm going to teach, yeah, I'm also going to teach tips and tricks of how to prepare, you know, because it's going to, you're going to have a lot of vegetables inside, like bean sprouts. How are you going to remove all those, those bean, bean sprout blackheads? I hate them. I really hate uh -huh. them. <laughs> okay, interesting. Cool. Um, guys, like I said, uh, make sure you say hello. Let us know where you're watching from. And also, uh, yeah, if you want Debbie's recipe and all our other recipes, just sign up at malaysianchefs.com slash join today. And again, uh, for those of you that realize, our Wednesday and Friday broadcasts are actually done in partnership with Facebook group Masa Apatak Jadi Hari Ini. So, apa uh, kabar semua from that Facebook group? Uh, make sure you say hello. Kalau you all not recipe, sila daftar dekat uh, Malaysian chefs.com slash join today yeah all right so yeah, yeah if you'd like to get started debbie let's have a look and see how this is done okay uh before starting i'm just going to show the tips and tricks on how to get your bean sprouts clean all right okay, so when cool. you buy bean sprouts it's always like this can you see okay yeah 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 you yep. can see all yep. those black things so what i normally do is because there's a lot of it what you can do to save a lot of time cleaning. Get a strainer. Get a strainer. Okay. And just, yeah, 
lightly scoop it up. My the other camera is off, so can't see. Sure. Cool. So, so it gets rid of all those. Yeah, like these sprout heads quite quickly. Right. Yeah. So I because always I hate to do this. <laughs> I think in, in Australia, our bean sprouts doesn't have that problem. I don't know if anyone else uh, has oh. that problem with the bean sprouts overseas. In Malaysia, it's horrible. <laughs> and then if you don't have a mate, then you'll be like screaming. And really? you know, if you're cleaning like kilos of it, like me, when, I, when I'm doing uh, orders, it's like kilos and kilos. Oh so my goodness. There's a lot of it. Oh my goodness. Just, just little, you can see the whole pot of it. So yeah, oh. do that. That's a tip. Yeah, and now uh, we're gonna use um, other vegetables. There's a lot of vegetables here. Okay. Cool. Okay, try some. The try some. So try yeah. some. Get the um, Japanese ones are less uh, bitter for our Malaysian audiences. Here, okay. our vegetables are a bit bitter. Yeah. So just really? get the big ones. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> Unless you get organic, then uh, yeah, that's a different ball game altogether. Yeah. How interesting. It's more expensive. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. So get this. Uh, cut them into uh, one inch lengths. Uh, okay. Very quickly, you can you can use a pair of scissors. It makes your life okay. easier. Sure. So you separate the stems from the leaves because the stems will go in first. Sure. So, Get them ready. Nice. Okay. Cool. Okay. Another. And in the recipe, uh, you will see that I, I, I will write five uh dried shita shiitake mushrooms. So the dried okay. shita shiitake mushrooms are actually like this. So after soaking, you see them plumped up like this. Right. All right. That looks very so, different to the shiitake mushrooms that I'm familiar with. Is that yeah, from so Malaysia? Then, okay. Uh, no, it's not. It's from China. Okay. Uh, you get them as gifts during Chinese New Year. All right. Yeah. Is there a reason for it? Is, is yeah, it to be? Chinese New Year, they will normally gift um, all the auspicious or expensive products like mushrooms, um, abalone, dried abalone, and all that kind sure. of stuff. Sure. Yeah. Okay, so it's meant to be a sign of prosperity sort of thing as opposed to... Okay, gotcha. Yes. That makes sense. Uh, <laughs> so how do you remove the uh, stem? You use a pair of scissors makes your life easier rather than using a pair of knife then you will cut your hands so you see quickly okay. get it done oh. cool so cool. okay it's very thick so what we know i normally do is i slice it horizontally into three to julienne it to these strips like that oh okay yeah. wow yeah sure. yeah yeah cool. then you will have another ingredient uh that is the tofu the white tofu or yep. we call it the Taukwa keras. There's two types. Okay. One is the soft tofu, soft white tofu, and this is the tofu, the firm tofu. Get the firm okay. tofu when you're still frying. So right, again, right. you need to um, slice it horizontally. My camera is not showing. Can't see. I'll That's okay. My yeah, cool. yes. Okay. All um, right. Yeah. Slice them. The pranakans are always finding for 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 more 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 work. Everything needs to be <laughs> sliced really yeah, yeah. nicely. Or else you'll see so kasa, so tak no no. You know all those things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you get them slice like that. Okay. All right. Sure. Slice. Do they break apart when you're cooking it, or do you have to be careful that they don't break up or? Um, okay, you can do two ways. Um, if you're serving it at a party, you want it to look all nicely like uh, julienne. What you can do mm -hmm. is you saute your garlic, uh, stir fry your tofu and set it aside first. Then just okay. before um, crossing everything, you just mix it together again. Then it Got will it. look very pretty. Got all right. It. Okay, sure. And what, I'm using cabbage, uh, Cameron cabbage. So just again, all slice thinly like that. Sure. So you can actually this is a one dish meal, very easily prepared. Um, 
cabbage last long in your in your fridge so it's sure. easy if you don't have choice some don't worry just put more cabbage <laughs> that's sure. how you, sure. you roll right yeah yeah exactly uh, we have carrots um we have carrots <laughs> the earbuds is dropping no it's okay uh we have carrots as well for color so carrots again julie any questions from the viewers? Um, on, on a lot of people saying hello uh, from all over the world. Hi. We've got yeah, people from. Uh, we've got. Uh, let me just scroll back up. Uh, we've got Elaine from the Netherlands. Uh, Chef Ismail Ahmad from Kuala Lumpur. Jack uh, Ubenheim from Frankfurt in Germany. Enkun over in Australia. Uh, Renee in Dubai. Uh, Aina from. Uh, Malaysia, Penang and Mal Pahang, sorry, Malaysia. Rin from Kuala Lumpur, May says hello everyone. Wendy says happy Chinese New Year from Melbourne. Michael Chong says great to see you again. Hazel, uh, lots and lots of people saying hello. So uh, Master Hi, from Budapest, in, yeah, yeah, cool. Oh, you've got those. Yes. That looks very similar yeah. to my shredder. Okay. Yes, yeah. So carrots, uh, you can just uh, shred them like that. Okay. okay if you don't sure. shred them like that and uh, sure. get them all like that okay okay, okay. sure then just sure. rinse it why rinse uh you need to rinse them because if you do not rinse them the color from the carrots is going to discolor your fried noodles okay so that's okay. the trick yeah okay. or else your fried noodles will be like orangey in color okay yeah got that yeah. nice yeah. nice sure so, so you just rinse put this uh just rinse with running tap water it's fine Okay. okay, sure. So I'm just going to put some water and rinse it. Sure. Miranda says, uh, great recipe, love to learn this. Thanks from the Netherlands. Um, and uh, Roshef Yin from Kuala Lumpur. Vivienne says, uh, from Malacca, uh, Nyonya Viv from Malacca NKL. Yay. Um, yes. Uh, Sheila Ahmed in Germany. Alice. So, uh, yeah. Wash and drain. Okay. Cool, cool. Okay, so now I'm going to start uh, stir frying everything else. So, okay, oh. for the yellow bean paste or the fermented bean paste, I'm using the whole uh, bean paste sure. uh, compared, uh, versus the paste, I mean the finely ground ones. Finely okay. ground ones are not as nice as the whole bean paste. Okay, okay. sure, sure. The um, it's very salty, right? The do you no. add any? No. All right, okay. This, the ones from lacquer, the one I'm using from lacquer, uh, it's actually it has a tinge of sweetness inside. Yeah. Okay. So it's actually sure. not that salty as what you think it is. Yeah. Sure. Okay. okay. I find like they're all different. Like um, you correct. Know. Yeah. Right, sure. So th that's the 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 tauchu that makes or breaks your pongte. Yeah. Is that right? Okay. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. So oil, cooking oil, um, normal cooking oil, uh, don't use any olive oil or whatever oil, just normal um, Malaysian cooking oil will do. Okay. Sure. Cool. Cool. So I like to uh, put a bit of salt first in the oil. Why? Because it's somehow rather the salt is evenly distributed as uh, putting it later, especially fried okay. noodles, right? tends to if it doesn't dissolve so it's one portion is like salty and then the others there's no taste okay cool cool i've never done that so, before uh, putting the salt in the oil interesting cool yeah so um your ginger you can use a old ginger or fresh young ginger just julienne them okay like that. okay cool. Saute your ginger until it's fragrant. You don't have sufficient oil. About three to four tablespoons. Sure. Okay. It tends to stick because ginger has this 
um characteristic that makes your walk stick alone. Yeah, yeah, that's right, it does. Mm. So don't worry about it. Just strip it up. So salty, I feel the fragrance. It's really fragrant. Can you see? Yes. Yeah. So I'm going to add in your shiitake mushrooms that I've uh, julienne. Yes. Cool. I can't remember the last time we had such a diverse group of people from everywhere, Cardiff in Wales. I don't think I've ever seen a comment from Cardiff in Wales. That's amazing. <laughs> uh, Kevek says, love your kabaya <laughs> Uh, the kabaya is really nice. This is Indonesian kabaya. Yeah, it's called oh. Anissa Gronio. Yeah, every region has got a different kabaya. So that we'll talk about it. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, so I'm adding the yellow bean paste. Okay, sure. Coffee, and say it's fragrant. Oh. Audrey Teo says she's proud of you. My sister, my <laughs> eldest sister. <laughs> and Michael was asking, is that old or young ginger? Uh, Debbie said you can use either or. Yeah, I can, um, you can use young or old, it's fine. I'm using old, it's more fragrant. Yeah, yeah. Like someone you can was saying earlier. Yeah. yeah? Yeah, someone was saying earlier, old ginger is very expensive in Australia right now. I saw, last I saw it was like $59 a kilo. Australian dollars, I know. If you can get your hands on Thai ginger, please do. It's fabulous. Oh, okay. Interesting. Did not know that. Yeah. Yeah, we can get Thai ginger over here. So, you can. Use okay. That. Is it expensive so, or? Yes, it's more expensive than China ginger. Almost oh. at par with Bentong ginger. Oh, so, right. Sure, sure. Gotcha. Just let me remove okay, your okay. names. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's better. So I can smell, I can really smell the fragrance. I'm going to add in the tofu. Okay. Cool. They call it. cool. That's a lot of tofu. <laughs> yeah. It's 400 grams of uh, vermicelli, so that's quite a lot of tofu. Oh, okay. Sure, sure. So my auntie in Malacca, she still observes this dish till today. She's 83 this year. Wow. Yeah, she's staying with my sister, yeah. Has the recipe changed over the last 50 years that you're aware of or has it been pretty no. much? Okay. For us, it's because, yeah, it's in the family. So this is the one that we go to for first day, Chiki and Jabbo, we call it. The first day and the 15th day of every Chinese lunar calendar. Right, right, okay. So, so interesting. Once it's fragrant, just add in your other vegetables. So okay. uh, put in your stems first because the stems are a bit hard. Oh. Is that going to be your dinner tonight? I guess so, yes. The, the kids <laughs> will, will freak out because there's no meat. <laughs> So for the first day of Chinese New Year, do you eat a lot of different vegetarian dishes or is this the, the main thing that you eat? You, you, okay, for lunch it's normally this and then dinner, oh, okay. my, mom, my mom would normally cook a few dishes, simple vegetarian dishes. Can be so as simple as, as fried potatoes, you know Jackie, just normal fried potatoes, not wedges, not french fries. Just potatoes like that, pan fry in oil, it's sliced thinly and it's not crispy and then just drizzles uh, light soy sauce over, it's actually quite sedap. <laughs> really? Someone was asking, yeah. I think it was Mama who was asking in my Facebook community, is there anything that uh, the Chinese in Malaysia cook as the main, like that uses potato as the main ingredient? Now you've just given her the answer. <laughs> yeah. I've never heard of that. How fascinating. Yeah, it's very simple dish, but it's nice. Oh, so cool. simple. Yeah. 
So and Kun, and, really and, and Kun is asking Debbie, do you need to pre-fry the tofu strips first? You didn't, did you? Only if you're I didn't. Your, okay, you, sure. If you want to pre-fry it, you can. If you're serving it as a like a dish for your friends and you want it to look whole. Like it means pretty sure. real, sure. yeah, Julian form. Sure, sure. Okay. Yeah, Renee was asking the same question. Oh. Mm. You notice that my tofu hasn't bro broken into like mushy yeah. pieces. Can you see that? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, because this is the, we call it the tahu keras versus the tahu lembut. This is the firm tofu. Sure. Cool, cool. Uh, so look at the saying, color. It is very colorful. Do yeah. You, do you, you don't put any sliced chilies in it though? No, the chili will okay. come in in the form of sauce. Okay. So this okay. is non spicy at all. Okay. Right, right. No. Sheila Amin says um, missing Nyonya food in Frankfurt. Her late mom used to cook it. It's very cool. Okay. Uh, Fate Tang was saying, Lala move to me. Debbie, what's the Lala Move? <laughs> uh, it's a delivery service. Oh, okay, Faith, gotcha, gotcha. Faith is uh, one of my customers, so she orders ah. uh, yeah, cookies and all that, and my kueh, so I normally Lala Move to her. Ah, no wonder. Okay, okay. Um, Sunita is asking about your knife. She thought your knife looked really sharp and cool, and if you can buy it in Kuala Lumpur anywhere. Yes, online. You can get it online. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. <laughs> You'll have to contact us later for the details. Um, yeah. Cool. We have a lot okay. of comments, guys. Who we didn't call out, sort of thing. Yeah, thanks so much for commenting, but keep going. And if you if we miss any of your questions, we'll go back and answer them later on. This is just all the vegetables so far, right? You haven't even put in the vermicelli. Yeah. No, wow. so yes. Yeah. After this, I'm gonna add in your uh vegetarian oyster sauce. Okay. Vegetarian oyster sauce. Mushroom powder. Why mushroom powder? Because we cannot take any chicken stock granules or whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So mushroom powder yeah. comes in a stock form like this sure. or in sure. powder form. So both yeah. ways you can use. So sure. just... Yeah. yeah. Right, right. I use the powder form one quite a lot. And yeah. it's great. Yeah. yeah, it's very flavorful. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to add uh, some water. Sure. The vegans would love this dish. Vegans are always yes. uh, interested in this sort of stuff. Yeah. Zahara Othman says, Hi, Debbie. Debbie, good to see your demonstration. We met at Zaleha Olkin's launch in KL. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh. Hi, <Kat> <laughs> So you can see that there's a bit of uh, sauce at the bottom. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, two, two options. Uh, if you want your vermicelli or fried bihun light with all these beautiful colors, you don't need to add dark soy sauce. If you okay. want some color, just add a tinge. I would like to add a tinge, just very little sure. dark soy sauce. Is there any particular uh, brand of dark soy sauce you like to use, or? Yes, uh, this is from Malaysia like again. Uh, it's called <laughs> Chak Lembu. Chak Lembu. Okay. Yeah, this, oh. this is one of the yeah, yeah. It's not okay. it's not uh, salty as in like real salty salty. Mm. It's got a tinge of sweetness at the end. Yeah. Chak Lembu like cow Lembu brand. Some. Yeah, Lembu <laughs> cow brand. <laughs> never heard of it because I, okay. I when i conduct my classes i've uh, showed my students uh -huh. this versus the normal brands it really makes a difference in the taste when you don't even need to add any msg whatsoever all right okay there's no msg inside oh okay oh. so you can see the sauce is yep the color is beautiful sure. right so I'm gonna add in the soaked and drained uh, bihun. 
Okay. Okay. Sure. Sure. Is that uh, about one packet of bihun or yes. more? One packet is 400 grams. Okay. That's a huge, huge wok full of noodles. <laughs> so I'm going to add in your leaves now. Okay, sure. Is it, is it just, is because uh, uh, during Chinese New Year, the first day of Chinese New Year, usually in my family, we ate like a lot of like, like uh, pretty fancy kind of like seafood and all kinds of stuff sort of thing. I, I've never had vegetarian for Chinese New Year. Is that a Buddhist thing or? Yes, it's a Buddhist thing. Okay. Uh, of course, we have all the fancy dishes uh, on the first day, but because it's um, we are observing vegetarian on the first day, we have actually kept aside all those fancy dishes that we add on the eve of Chinese New Year. Mm -hmm. So on the eve, we have our prayer food, that's a, another array of dishes that we cook and offer to our ancestral uh, altars. And then, uh, yeah, it's a big array of it. So we just keep them aside. Uh, first day, we will cook this. Then second day, we'll go back to the the dishes that we add on the eve. All right. Okay. Even like, oh my. Yeah. yeah. Fascinating. So... You can see it drying up. If you find that there's uh, not enough liquid, add more sure. water. Sure. So it's actually very little oil in this. It's just... Yes, you notice time. that. And the color, I like the color so that you can see everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. very thin, very light tinge of uh, dark soy sauce. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Alison was asking how much mushroom powder you put in. About, um, that's one, one, I would say one block of, uh, I think about, I would say one teaspoon, one heap of teaspoon. Okay. Uh, one heap teaspoon would be sufficient. Because of Outsuki. your tauchu, there's tauchu inside. Okay. Outsuki is asking what brand of tauchu do you use? Lembu. From lacquer. Tauchu is also. <laughs> What's this lumbu this, brand? This company <laughs> must pay me money, yeah? Cool. Lumbu, okay. can you see? It's lumbu, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a picture of a cow there. <laughs> yeah. How fascinating. I've never heard of the brand. We need to get it over to Australia. Yeah. <laughs> Michael says, Chef from Malacca, all ingredients must also, must also be from Malacca. <laughs> No, I have ingredients that I like from Penang too, so I mean, okay. yeah, it sure. depends on what, what is nice. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Uh, Annie says the dark soy sauce so looks will... like thick caramel. It is the same thing, Annie. Yeah, that's what we know as uh, cooking caramel here. Yeah. Now, Michael is asking so any probably... particular beehood brand. Uh, I'm using a local um, beehood brand. Uh, it's from a wholesale shop, I would say supermarket here called Matahari. Okay, okay, sure. And now Renee's asking, did you soak the bihun with cold water and how long would you advise to soak it for? Okay, soaking um, bihun with cold running tap water, uh, soak okay. until it's tender because every brand has got a different consistency. So yeah, you wouldn't yeah, know yeah. how long you need to soak it. So always test with your hands. Okay, fascinating. I actually usually soak it with hot water. Can you soak it oh, with hot yeah. water? Yeah, I just soak it with normal uh, cold water, tap water, okay. and drain right. it. Oh, sure. So we are almost done here. I'm going to put in my pepper. So, sure, okay. Uh, uh, Mei, Ling, Mei Ling is asking if you can hold the, the, the dark soy sauce and the delcho closer to the camera so they can check it out. Oh, okay. I don't have the bottle form because mine is in big form. Oh, but okay, uh, sure. this is the same brand, Lembu, Chap Lembu from oh, Lekker. Yeah, look, look for the pic of the cow on the, on, on the label. Yeah, so they, uh, have, they have light soy sauce, dark soy sauce. I'm using all three of them. Okay, okay cool. Chap Lembu. My light soy sauce, I, because mine I bought in a big, big container, so I'm just, yeah, oh, putting in a small, yeah. Cool. Now, Anthony oh, yeah. is asked, will the steam not overcook the vegetables? Um, no. no. Okay. 
No. Because I don't cook the vegetables until it's lean. So no. I add it in. You can see. Sure. Yeah. yeah. It's still whole. And your bihun is perfect, right? Sure. Sure. So I'm going to add in your bean sprouts. Okay. Even more vegetables. This is crazy. Uh, uh, Facebook users say, get, saying it kind of resembles mi siam because of the tau chou. Mm, bean siam has got more, more, more tau chou. This one has got very little. Okay, yeah. sure, sure. There you go. Okay, so once I put in the bean sprouts, I'm going to turn off the heat immediately so that your bean sprouts will remain crunchy. Okay, so I sure. turn off the heat and just toss it, cool, toss cool. it in like that. So you can okay. see that everything is still juline, like whole, but nice. without breaking up. Got it. Sure, sure. And Vivian was saying uh, she wanted to see the dark soy sauce, but yeah, Vivian, she's only got it in like big commercial bottles, so she doesn't have the bottle here with us. But look for the chap lumbu, the, the cow, the picture of the cow on the label from, from Malaka. Google, uh, chap, chap lumbu, uh, dark soy sauce, it comes out. Sure, sure. Okay. Okay. So our right. noodles, our bihun, I mean, our, our fried bihun is ready. Okay. Now, I, I want to ask you, because the Chinese, with Chinese New Year, the noodles, and in fact, generally the Chinese, they don't like you to chop up the noodles. Do you, are you conscious of that when you're cooking this or it doesn't matter? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> no. But I you remember can see when that it's the string. The strings yeah. are not broken. Oh, yes, yeah, Jackie. Yeah. Uh, I remember at my restaurant, even like you know, uh, the Chinese watch you cook any any noodle dish, they get a little bit freaked out when you, you know, <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, yeah, when you use your spatula to kind of like chop it up a bit. <laughs> it's it's well, not because, good because if uh, it's served for a birthday, um, it's called a longevity noodle. So you are talking when you are cutting those noodles, it's like cutting their life shorter. Yeah. So that's why they go freak out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm, okay. Okay. I'm gonna prepare the sauce now. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna move this aside so that the, the camera can see. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. And the, we just had a few other comments. Uh, someone Facebook user says normally for frying, best to soak with tap water, but if you yes. have to. Use it. It's hot soup. Best to use hot water to uh, to soak. There you go. Um, cool. Uh, <laughs> Uma Devi asks, "Do we get to taste it as well, Debbie?" <laughs> She's also <laughs> uh, my Lala move customer. <laughs> uh, oh, right, right, right. Cool. Uh, Mala, Mala, yeah. It's not, uh, she got the time wrong, but yeah, Mala, you need to watch the playback on this because Mala is uh, vegan. And this is a vegan dish. There you go. I didn't even know wow. going into this that it was going to be a vegan dish. But uh, thanks everyone for commenting so far. But yeah, hitting us up with your questions. Uh, if you've got any at all. Catherine was saying she, they're not Buddhist, but their family does observe eating Thai vegetarian on the first day of Chinese New Year. Yeah, Thai vegetarian. And Dina says hi, Debbie and Jackie, watching from KL. Happy Lunar New Year! Happy New Happy New Year, uh, Dina. Okay, cool. So for the sauce, okay, all right. Cool, don't have cool. a pound. Don't use your mortar and pestle. Modern. <laughs> so <laughs> just fresh red chilies. Uh, try to get the crinkled ones. Um, okay. I don't like this type. It looks very plasticky. What happens okay. is that um. When even you grind them, it still has that small pieces that sticks to your teeth. Right, so get right, the crinkled right. ones. Yeah. So just. Oh. Yeah. Right, right. Is it just a matter of waiting till it ripens till it crinkles, or is it just a different no, variety? No, it's a different brand. Uh, different brand and different variety. There's no brand name. Okay. Okay. Sure. Sure. Enkun says I'll when show we. <laughs> when the... Yep. Go on. Oh. I normally show them when I get them. Uh, for maybe in the next class, I'll get them and show. Yeah, yeah. Today, That'd be this cool. few days, the market is still not open yet because of Chinese New uh -huh. Year. So, uh, but I chili up to you. How many you want to put? I'm putting it three. Okay, okay sure. three. 
Yeah. Uh, ginger. Since you can't uh, use garlic, we're going to use ginger. Sure. Ginger. Everything in. Taochu. Sure. All right. Okay. Yeah, I should put that in there. Okay. Kalamansi. Uh huh. Kalamansi. Okay. I'm going to put the kalamansi lime juice inside. So, okay, there's a lot of people go to the market, they will choose all the dark green pretty ones. Please don't do that. It's hard, hard for you to press. Get this one. Yeah, it looks ugly, the, but it's plump and soft. So if you're sure. like me, pressing sure. five kilos each time, you appreciate this. Oh my yes. goodness. No wonder yeah. she's always so busy. No wonder you're so busy all the time. <laughs> all my promotions, my shoe chef doesn't want to do all this integrity stuff. But this makes or breaks a recipe. I'm sure you know, uh, Jackie. Uh, you'd be surprised how much shortcut I take. Anyway, go on. <laughs> and again, another trick, another nifty trick is that, okay, how do you uh, sieve or get the juice from a calamansi lime? Uh, don't use a normal, uh, I would say, a metal sieve because the sieve is too too fine. You won't get the, the sack from the uh, lime itself because I want the sack as well, like in the orange. So what I do is I use this type of colander. Can you see the holes are bigger? So right. when you squeeze the calamansi, it drains easily and just left the, the seeds inside. The sacks are all down here, so you get everything. Sure, sure, cool, interesting. Yeah. Okay, uh, Kevin was yeah. asking, can we make Debbie's screen bigger? We actually can't unless I disappear from the screen altogether, but maybe I'll do that for a few minutes uh, just so that people can see what you're doing, okay? But I think you can still hear me. Um, let me just uh, remove myself. So I'm going to add in your calamansi lime juice. Cool. There's no water in here. It's just your chili, fresh red chilies, chili paddy, calamansi lime juice. Ooh, I can see. So uh -huh. just salt it and put sugar, salt and sugar to taste. So salt sure. and sugar to taste. Oh, that's a, yeah, that's a and decent also amount. Ready. Nice, nice. Cinda so says uh, they're in New Zealand and have calamansi plant, which has a lot of fruit. That's great to hear. Wow. Okay. Masna. Now, if you can't get calamansi, can you use lemon or lime? You can, but the fragrance is different. Totally okay. different. Sure. Yes, you can. When you've got no choice, when you're in London, there's still calamansi. <laughs> that, that must not that will teach you to uh, live in Europe, right? So how long can this keep for? The sauce, you mean? Yeah, the sauce. The sauce, uh, the sauce actually turns bad pretty quickly because there's calamansi lying in it, so you have to refrigerate it. So probably you want to uh, remove what you need and put the ba the balance in the refrigerator. Okay. Sure. sure. Okay. So um, yeah, we're not done yet. Almost there. That's ready. Can you go behind. Take the coriander leaf in the tupperware for me. Thanks. Okay, so sauce is ready. Wow, sauce is ready. Amazing. We're gonna start plating. How many big chilies did you use for that batch? That that looks like a lot of sauce. I was quite surprised. Uh, five fresh chilies, uh, three chili right. buddies, okay. about two to three tablespoons of uh Taochiu sauce, okay. and then uh salt and sugar to taste. That's all. All right. Okay. There you go. Nice and easy. 
yeah, this sauce wouldn't last my kids. I think it's not sufficient. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to plate it. And uh, yes, thank you. For extra crunch, extra crunch, you can add in some cucumber for garnishing. Gives you that refreshing taste. Uh, Mala is asking, would adding oil preserve the sauce a bit longer? Would you suggest adding oil to it? No? No, not, not necessarily adding oil. Don't, don't add oil. Okay. Mala, these, uh, these nyonyas are very, very, <laughs> very fussy about their food. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. Cool. So I just changed the layout a little bit. Yeah. And uh, yeah, for this, uh, Jennifer says Happy Chinese New Year. Happy Chinese New Year to you, Jennifer. For those who we didn't uh, kind of call out, but uh, we're reading your comments, but we don't want to disrupt the broadcast too much by reading too many comments because that makes it really hard to follow Debbie. Um, cool. Let me just remove myself again. Okay. Uh, Paul is better at this. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. That looks amazing. At Okay. Sure. Now I want to ask you because our MOMC chefs, Chef Bob and Chef Joe, are always arguing about which belacan is the best, right? <laughs> but belacan Malacca, I like. Is it meant to be pink in color, or is it just that particular batch that Chef Bob was using the other day? Uh, the belacan Malacca has got no color. No color. Is that really? How oh, interesting. I've never, yeah, okay. Oh, wow, that looks fantastic. It looks so healthy, yes. too. Yeah, it does look awesome. Michael was saying, wow, that looks awesome. So, wow. here is the sauce. Can you see? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. I love it. So, that looks great. So, there's not so much vegetables after all, once it's like, uh, shrank and limped down. So I think the color is just nice, but those who likes it darker, uh, you won't be able to see the color of your, your shiitake and your, your tofu and your other vegetables. Got it, got it. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. yeah. So, so so that, yeah. That's fantastic. Mm. Definitely so it's a very simple, it. yeah, simple dish, but the sauce is the key. Because this is very plain, yeah, as what a lot of people say, oh, vegetarian noodles, very boring. Yes, it is, but the sauce is amazing. Sauce, yeah, you definitely need the sauce to kind of like jazz it up. But uh, I, I love, I, like I said, I never knew about the whole first day of Chinese New Year eating vegetarian yeah. food. And you've done it yes. for like your whole life. That is fascinating. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mala saying so inviting, hungry now. Cool. So on on the fifteenth, um, the last day of Chinese New Year, you'll eat the same dish, or do you have you, other? You can eat the same dish or other vegetarian dishes that you like. Okay, you can even okay. you have the tofu, the one that I use for the noodles. Yep. yep. Uh, use for the noodles. You can stir fry in bean paste with some uh chili paddy, some sugar. Okay. It's another dish by itself that you serve with rice. Okay, okay. Yeah. It's now you mentioned the potato earlier and I mentioned earlier yes. that I think it was Ma who was asking about the potatoes. Is there a reason why you serve it like quite plain? Uh is like is there a significance to doing like plain no. dishes like that? No, no, it's, actually it's because it tastes nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. Nice. Because, That's very nice. Because on the if on the if we really have like a table full of uh, festive dishes, right? From pork to chicken to duck to whatever you can call it. 
on the first day when we go vegetarian, we just want simple and we're so exhausted, okay. right? So the faster the dish that you can prepare is eat better. Got it, got it. That makes sense. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, rinse yeah. just make the sauce yeah. taste amazing. Chili party gives it a great kick to it. Oh, Rinna was making it while you were yes. while you were cooking. Oh, oh, fabulous. Yeah, guys, we should do more of these. Uh, cook along style. Yeah. Okay. So um, Chinese New Year uh, first. Uh, so apart from this, you might have the potato. And what other dishes would you have? Or is, is that pretty much it? Because you're just kind of recovering from the, the New Year's Eve I'll dinner. No, this will be for lunch and dinner. We normally have the fried potatoes, the tau kwa, oh, right, stir fried right. in bean paste. And then, right. yeah, and um, another dish, uh, vegetable. Maybe you can either stir fry plain or we can make a krabu. Simple oh, okay. uh, krabu, I would say not even krabu. You know, ladies' fingers, you just blanch them in uh, hot boiling water. And mm -hmm. again, we use the tau chiu. The tau chiu, okay. calamansi lime, sugar and chili padi. So you just right, drizzle right. over your uh, lady's fingers. And because you have the okay. sour tangy uh, and the plain and everything, it sort of blends together nicely. Cool, cool. Yeah. And for those of you who might have been wondering about your heritage, I mentioned that you're an expert in both Penang and Malacca Nyonya cuisine. Can you tell people about like your own um, your own background a little bit? Oh, okay. Uh, I grew up in Malacca, uh, but my mom is from Penang, Penang Nyonya, and my dad is pure Baba Malacca. So, um, mm. grew up, yeah, grew up, we can't speak Chinese actually, so we only speak Baba Patios at home and English. Even when I went to school, we went to French convent and the teachers were French nuns. So you either speak English or Bahasa, that's all. Even when we attend Mandarin classes, we'll be like <gasps> crying because we cannot speak. It's so difficult because we do not speak at all. And then the moment they right, see your right. face, they say Chinese, but you can't speak. It's like so sad. Yeah. So we always get the term Orang China, Bukan China. We look Chinese, we are Chinese, <laughs> but we can't speak Chinese. We're so banana. Yeah. yeah, yeah, sure. So do you know any Hokkien words? Because I noticed you were mentioning some Hokkien terms earlier. Yes, um, okay, yes sure. because my Penang, this Penang from Penang Nyonya, Penang Nyonya speak a lot of Hokkien, so that's how I picked up my Hokkien from my Penang uh, mom's side. Uh, yes, I can speak Hokkien. Penang Hokkien, not, not the KL or the Klang Hokkien. It's a Penang Hokkien. It's a different uh, intonation again. Yeah. Okay. Can you understand each other or...? Uh, a bit, yes, but once they go deeper, I'm like lost. I'm like, what? <laughs> I can't get it. Uh, yeah. How fascinating. It goes to show how, how much like uh, diversity there is in Malaysia, both yes. in like, yes. yeah, our cultural background. And Renee says, yay, thank you, Debbie and Jackie. Thank you so much, Renee, for tuning in. Um, yeah, well, thank you so much for this, Debbie. This is amazing. This is a fantastic uh, debut for Masters of Malaysian Cuisine. And for those of you who don't know, like I said, Debbie is the latest member to be uh, to join our core MOMC group. Our core MOMC group only has seven chefs. Um, everyone else is either part of MOMC at heart or they are part of other, or their guests, invited guests. But Debbie is our, uh, like I said, part of our core group, right? And she and I, along with the rest of our seven chefs, are going to be involved in a Malaysian food promotion project in at the end of March, along with Renee Jufri as well over in Dubai. So make sure you guys keep your eyes peeled for that. And on top of that, uh, MOMC TV, which is made up of our core MOMC chefs, will be launching on the 1st of March. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. MOMC TV is going to be recorded episodes of our chef's cooking. So we don't have any like technical problems, any audio problems, any kind of like a, um, a mess up sort of thing. But yeah, all right. Well, thank you so much uh, everyone for tuning in. Sid says, thank you, gorgeous food and history. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have to learn more about Debbie and her background over the coming weeks and months. So we uh, make sure you guys uh, sign up to our 
website and to get a hold first of all of this recipe and all our other recipes but also we're going to be writing more articles around our chefs and everyone's background and expertise as well well thank you again debbie i really appreciate thank you this. jackie for and, uh, it's been great Oh, yeah, you're, most, you're most welcome. And I'm sorry for those of you who are wondering why I'm on screen the whole time. It's because of the limitation of this broadcasting software, because it's my account, I cannot actually minimize myself. And um, yeah, it was either half and half, or I have the big screen and Debbie has the thumbnail, which obviously makes no sense, or I disappear from screen altogether. But Debbie specifically said she wanted me on screen because it's the first time. <laughs> all right. Um, yes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again, everyone, for tuning in. We're going to bump out the Tourism Malaysia again. Have a wonderful uh, rest of the day. Gabby. Enjoy your vermicelli. And everyone else, have a great uh, rest of your evening or rest of the day ahead of you. We'll see you later. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> All right, see you later. <laughs> Bye.